Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're going to be doing something different outside the shop. A um, month or two ago, I bought my granddaughter a used vehicle. And it's, you know, obviously had some plastic trim replaced, so there was no front license plate. Uh, so, you know, I looked around, I found one, a kit on Amazon uh, that's a bracket so that you can mount the a, a new license plate to the front. And so, couldn't really find any good videos on it, so I thought maybe I'd shoot my own. So I just want to show you what comes with the kit and how I installed it. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you, this is the kit that I purchased off of Amazon, and I'll put a link in there uh, to the video in case you're interested and you want to buy one. Um, this is not a sponsored video, just showing you what I got. Okay, so this part right here is the outer frame that goes around the license plate you have your hardware here and some caps to uh to cover the hardware once you get it installed this over here is just some foam uh self-adhesive stick that you can stick on the back of this frame uh, so that it doesn't rattle against uh, the license plate once you get it installed so there is another piece uh which i will show you here this uh this piece here is um, the plastic bracket that you actually mount to the car. Now, one of the things that I would say if I was doing a review for the people who sell the kit is uh, the instructional video, uh, the instructional, the instructional video that they showed was not very informative. So um, anyway, I thought I could do a better job and wanted to show you how I installed this kit on a 2014 Ford Escape. Uh, now there were no pre-drilled uh, pre holes. Uh, the kit comes with, this hardware here, comes with um, a couple of self-tapping screws. And you see, uh, it even has a couple of uh, back piece, plastic pieces, I guess, that would help hold them on. Unfortunately, on the grill, uh, on the Ford, uh, you can't reach back there. It's it's pretty thick, and the screws don't even uh, go all the way through. So, they're uh, you know they're actually in the grill itself, the the plastic grill. So uh, as I self like I said, they were self tapping screws. I put them in. They seem to hold pretty pretty well right now, but I wasn't sure how they would hold over time. So I broke out my rivet gun, and I want to show you what I did. So here are the self-tapping screws and it's just a phillips head it's kind of like a wood screw but you know you can use it for wood or plastic and this is what came with them you got two of them but then and, and it was pretty secure but then i went ahead and i used a couple of rivets to put a rivet on this side and a rivet on this side and so you can tell that it's it's secure it's not coming off so, and I just wanted to make sure it wouldn't come off once we got the license plate and stuff on. So, now I'm going to show you the next steps um, to actually putting the license plate on itself. Okay, guys. So, so these are, like I said, these are like a self-adhesive, um, like, insulate uh, pad. I mean, what they do is it sticks on. I'm going to show you right here best I can. Um, I'm going to peel that off. And where these go, I'll show you that. So where that goes is right on the back of the outer plate. And what, what it's supposed to do is keep the frame and the license plate from rattling. Um, I, put them, I put one on just to see how it looked. And... Uh, I didn't like the look of it and I don't really think I need it because this is a universal uh, license plate kit and uh, what you might need for one vehicle you may not need for the other now the other thing that um, I'm gonna use and this is what actually mounts the plate to um, the bracket that you've mounted to the the grill on your car uh, just a little flat washer there's four of these and that's what's going to hold the plate on. So I'm going to get that put on and then show you how it looks. Okay, so there's the bracket mounted on the front. What I was going to 
talk about are these four screws here. And you can see that that doesn't, there's no rattle there. That's a nice tight, tight fit. So that's why I didn't put those foam uh, pieces on the back. But like I said, every car is different. Uh, but on the 2014 uh, Ford Escape, this is how it mounts. This is what it ends up looking like. There's some caps, uh, some little plastic caps that go on this. I'm going to put that on and then I'll show you that next. But that's just strictly for cosmetics. It doesn't have to be. The one thing that I would say is these are pretty short little uh, threaded screws um, and they're fairly snug and I don't I think they'll be fine. Um, I'd like to have seen something maybe with a little coarser thread so uh, you know so that it actually went all the way through the frame but we'll see over time how this works. It seems to be fine now and I'm probably just overthinking it but Anyway, there you go. That's what the final look looks like. I'm going to put the caps on and I'll show you that next. Okay, so you see it's got this little plastic piece here and I've already showed you the screw with the little flat washer and, and basically it fits down in it like that. You can see the little plastic so the washer and the screw goes through that little spacer and you want to push it all the way down and then you actually screw it into... Um, the space here so let me uh, get a screwdriver and I'll show you how that worked okay so as you can see <clears throat> here's how the screw fits inside the clear plastic piece then this little cap just pops on right over the top of it and it's strictly aesthetic but you want to push till it snaps and there you go that's what it looks like installed. Sorry, I'm trying not to expose the drivers of the, the whole license plate, but there you go. That's what it ended up looking like. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, make sure you hit the like button. It really helps me with YouTube. Also, don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. And, you know, if you have any comments or questions about the actual install and what I was able to show you, uh, feel free to put your questions in the comments. I answer all the comments and, um, you know, be glad to give you my opinion on it. Uh, anyway, until next time, stay safe. Have a great day.